असलम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर इंग्लिश क्लास बेटर हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट इन फाइन बाई द ग्रेस ऑफ अल्लाह सो स्टूडेंट्स टेल मी अबाउट योर स्टेइंग एट होम एक्सपीरियंस आर यू इंजॉइंग योर स्टेइंग होम यू शुड बी बट रिमेंबर टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड योर सराउंडिंग्स एज वेल and also remember that you have to take your online classes and learn daily as you all know we are in our 9th week and i hope you are learning new things every week and every week is a learning week for you today we are going to start our oxford discover student book uh, unit 8 and the name of the unit is chatter boxes hmm Interesting topic, na? I hope you know who are the chatter boxes. Well, I can name few who are in my class who talks all the time, who chatters all the time. I know you know them as well. Before starting our today's lecture, beta, let's set some objective. Our today's objective is to make you unable to read and comprehend the text. and make you learn that how animals communicate do you think animals communicate with each other how they can communicate with each other uh, well i have found one chart and wanted to share it with you which tells us that how animals communicate with each other for example they communicate visually like fireflies blow to attract their mates peacock use their elaborated tail during contouring rituals elephant use their trunks to talk to other herds over long distances and and use pterophon tails to follow each other so this is their way to communicate with each other Are you people now excited to read our today's chapter? Let's start reading it. Hmm. It is your student book page 80 and this page looks very interesting. I can see a hippo, I can see a honey bee and I can see a vervet monkey as well which is on a tree. Hmm. I think he is hiding from someone. So Peter let's start the reading and read how these animals were communicated Page 80 Read Chatter boxes Do you think animals can communicate? No? Think again. There are three main types of animal communication and they all happen for different reasons. communication between animals of the same species defending territory and attracting a mate hippos communicate underwater and on land but mostly they communicate underwater by making noises called grunts and bellows on land the volume of their bellows can reach 115 decibels That's as loud as thunder or a jet plane. They communicate with each other to defend their territory, which is their own space. Hippos bellow when they fight other hippos and when they want to attract a mate. Food. Honeybees do a special kind of dance called the waggle dance when they find nectar, water, or pollen. The dance is like a map of their journey. The dance helps other bees locate the nectar, water, or pollen. Danger. Most animals have predators that want to kill and eat them. Lions, cheetahs, and eagles prey on vervet monkeys, so the monkeys have alarm signals for each predator. Rabbits thump their powerful back paws on the ground to warn other rabbits of danger. Beavers slap their tails hard against the water to scare away foxes and alligators. When vervet monkeys hear the lion or cheetah signal, they climb trees to protect themselves. When they hear the eagle signal, they hide on the forest floor. Wow. 
what an informative page this is so from this page beta we came to know there are three types of animal communication and the first one is between among each other that when they talk with or communicate with each other so when they communicate with each other they communicate on three times number 1 when they are defending their territory or attracting a mate or when they have found a food and they want to communicate it and the last thing and the most important thing when they feel danger so they want to protect their other species so how they attract their male and defend their territory we are being given the example of a hippo who who uses grunts and bellows to communicate under water they produce these sounds to attract their mate and to defend their own territory is that clear then we are given an example of animals who communicate when they want to tell about food like a honey bee what does honey bee do yes they dances a waggle dance which is like a map for the other bees to find or to locate the water pollen or a nectar is that clear and the last and the main thing when they communicate animals communicate with each other when they feel the danger and when they want to protect their other friends or family members so what they do most of the time like a rabbit what did the rabbit do rabbit thumb their powerful back paws on the ground to warn the other rabbits of the danger and what will a beaver do when they find a fox or alligator coming to themselves yes they splash their tails hard against the water to scare them off and the most interesting thing which i found is the vervet monkey what does vervet monkey do when they hear the sound of lion or a cheetah they give the signal by climbing on a tree and how they give signal when they see an eagle yes they hide on a forest floor let's read the ne next page and see what other types of communication between animals has been done let's read page 81 now communication between animals of different species warning the most common kind of communication between animals of different species is a warning noise rattlesnakes have a rattle on the end of their bodies that they shake when they feel threatened the loud noise scares away predators similarly wolves growl and show their teeth to warn enemies that they will fight food a type of lizard called a gecko and an insect called a tree hopper cooperate with each other they both eat honeydew a sweet sticky liquid that comes from trees the gecko sees the tree hopper vibrating its stomach so it knows that the tree hopper is eating honeydew the gecko shakes its head to indicate to the tree hopper that it wants honeydew The tree hopper throws honeydew toward the gecko, which catches it in its mouth. Why does the hopper do this? It's possible that the gecko protects the hopper from predators. The honey guide is a bird that eats beeswax and helps honey badgers find honey. Although it is good at finding beehives, the honey guide has difficulty getting into the hives. The honey badger eats honey. but it has trouble finding hives and so these two animals collaborate the honey guide makes noises and flaps its wings to attract the honey badger once the honey badger has climbed a tree and broken open the hive it eats the honey and the honey guide gets to eat too communication between humans and animals dolphins apes and parrots are the animals that have communicated the most with humans a famous bonobo ape kanzi was the first non-human to learn language the way a child does by listening and observing 
A scientist said that Kanzi had learned 450 words using a keyboard. He also told us that Kanzi was learning new things every day. Alex was a gray parrot who, like most parrots, could imitate words, but he could also identify objects, colors, and shapes. He died when he was 31. His last words to his trainer, Dr. Pepperberg, were, You be good. I love you. Dr. Pepperberg said Alex had started to learn the alphabet. Every time Alex got a letter right, he told Dr. Pepperberg that he wanted a nut. Wow! It is very informative page again, bo boys and girls. So, we came to know about one more type when animals need to communicate with another species. That means with the other species not from their own species like we have read about warning what does a rattlesnake do when he wants to give the warning yes it rattles its, its tail and what does wolves do they growl to give the warning to the other species that means again they are using this technique they are communicating to defend themselves to save themselves then we have read that there are few species, few animals who collaborate or you can say who works together to find food like a gecko and a tree hopper. These two help each other to find food and to protect each other as well. Same is the case with honey guide and a honey badger. Both of them help each other in different ways like honey guide tells him about the honey where is the where are the beehives and honey guide take out the honey from the beehives and they share it among themselves in the last we came to know about the very Im important and interesting type of communication which animals do and that is among the animals and humans Yes, it is a very interesting when you see a can see talking with a human like a human and Alex, a grey parrot, can give a remark to doctor. Is it interesting? And how do you think this all happened? Yes, because they become friends with each other and they become humans tame them they teach them different signals they teach them how to respond it is a very interesting topic I must say boys and I hope it is much clearer to you now let's turn your page on page number 82 now this is your page which we are going to solve exercise A First of all, write date and day on the top of the page and come to your exercise A now. Choose an animal from the article, use the chart to answer questions about it. What you have to do in this part beta that you have to choose one animal from the chapter which you have read and fill this chart. That who is that animal, write the name of the animal, where it is found, when he produces the sound, why it produces the sound and how it communicates with other animals or its mates. Is that clear? Well done. Now about exercise B, you have to circle the correct option. For example, number 1, hippos communicate. Yes, it's number 1, underwater and on land as well. Honeybees communicates with a dance. Option C. Vervet monkeys have alarm signal too? Yes, it's option D. And number 4? Yes, can see the ape and Alex the parrot work with? Very good, with scientists. Very good. Now, you have to do the matching in exercise C. It is very easy. You have to match the meaning with the correct word. I hope it's clear now. Your today's assignments are that you have to learn the dictation word and write them neatly in your notebooks. Then you have your word synonyms and your question answers. 
I hope you have remembered all the. I hope students you remember all the instructions which has been given to you before as well. Do you remember? Yes, you have to draw the margin line on every page. Then write date and day on the top of the page when you start your new assignment. That means when you finish your dictation, you have to write date and day again on your next work. Is that clear? Very good. Now then you have to use only blue markers to write down headings, and then you have to underline those headings with the blue color pencil. The most important thing is, beta, that you have to cover your notebooks properly and keep them safe. And remember, draw the ending line whenever you finish one task. So, what we have learned today? Yes, we learned today that animals communicate. Yes, to defend themselves, to help, and to find food. And humans and animals communicate with each other to be friends with each other. I hope my lecture is informative for you. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.